Have you ever dared to step into a place so haunted it chills your very soul? Welcome to the Sally House. Known far and wide for its eerie paranormal activities, this house is not just a building, but a spine-tingling tale waiting to be revealed. A place where the line between the living and the dead blurs, where the unseen becomes seen. Do you have the courage to delve into the depths of such a chilling narrative? Let us walk you through the chilling chronicles of the Sally House. Our tale begins in the late 1800s, in a seemingly innocent house in Atchison, Kansas. The house, a quaint two-story structure, was erected during a time of prosperity and optimism. It was a home, a sanctuary, filled with the laughter of children and the warmth of family life. Among the many residents of this house, one name echoes through the corridors of time, Sally. Born into a world teetering on the brink of a new century, Sally was a beacon of joy in her family. Her laughter was infectious, her spirit indomitable. Tragically, her life was cut short due to a botched appendectomy. The procedure, carried out in the very house she called home, was her untimely end. Her physical presence ceased, but her spirit remained, tethered to the place of her premature departure. The house, once a symbol of familial warmth, now bore the spectral imprint of the young girl. Little did anyone know this was just the beginning. Fast forward to the 1990s, when the Pickman family moved into the Sally house. An ordinary family, they were blissfully unaware of the eerie history that clung to the walls of their new home. It began subtly, as these things often do. The Pickmans would notice a sudden chill in the air, a cold spot that would flutter around the house like an unseen butterfly. It was inexplicable yet harmless, a curiosity more than anything, but then things took a turn. The childish pranks started. Toys would disappear only to reappear in the most unlikely of places. Doors would slam shut of their own accord. Lights would flicker on and off, as if a mischievous sprite was playing with the switches. The family dismissed it as quirks of an old house, though a sense of unease was beginning to creep in. But the real terror began with the attacks on Mr. Pickman. It was as if an unseen entity had taken a particular dislike to him. He would often find scratches on his body, deep welts that would appear out of nowhere, as if an invisible hand had raked its nails across his skin. Once he was pushed down the stairs by an unseen force, a terrifying incident that left him shaken and the family in fear. The Pickman sought help from paranormal experts, hoping to find answers. The investigations unveiled a chilling truth. Their house was haunted by the spirit of a little girl named Sally, a former resident who had tragically died there. The pranks, the cold spots, the attacks, it all pointed to a restless spirit seeking attention or perhaps revenge. Despite their efforts to coexist with Sally, the hauntings only grew more intense. Fear seeped into their daily lives, turning their home into a place of dread. With heavy hearts, the Pickmans finally decided to leave the Sally house. The Pickman family left the house, but the hauntings did not stop. As the years rolled on, the Sally house remained a hotbed of paranormal activity. Its silent, eerie walls have played host to countless investigations, each one attempting to unravel the mystery that shrouds this unassuming abode. Daring souls, armed with cutting-edge technology and a thirst for truth, have ventured into this spectral playground. Electronic voice phenomena, or EVPs, became a common occurrence during these investigations. The disembodied whispers of the unknown, captured on recording devices, sent chills down the spines of even the most seasoned investigators. The voices, seemingly suspended in time, echoed the tales of unseen residents, whispering their secrets into the ears of the living. But the Sally House didn't limit itself to spectral whispers. No, its repertoire of paranormal performances included sightings of apparitions. Witnesses reported seeing full-bodied figures, ethereal and translucent, drifting through the house. The apparitions were as varied as they were unsettling. A little girl in period clothing, a woman in white, a man with a menacing presence. Each sighting, a chilling reminder of the house's dark past. Yet the Sally House was not content with mere sightings and sounds. It seemed to harbour a malevolent energy that wasn't afraid to make itself known. Visitors reported physical attacks, scratches appearing on the skin without any visible cause, objects moving of their own volition, 
a feeling of being watched, of being unwanted. Among these spectral inhabitants, the presence of Sally, the namesake of the house, remained a constant. Her spirit, mischievous and sometimes hostile, seemed to claim the house as her own. Yet there were whispers of other spirits lingering in the shadows, adding to the house's haunted reputation. Despite all the fear and terror, the Sally House stands, a testament to the unknown, an unassuming monument to those who've passed on, yet refused to leave, a chilling reminder that sometimes the most frightening things are those we cannot see, cannot understand, and cannot control. So, what exactly haunts the Sally House? The Sally House, a seemingly ordinary house in Atchison, Kansas, has been the epicenter of countless inexplicable phenomena. The stories are as varied as they are chilling. There are tales of objects moving on their own, doors opening and closing without human intervention, and eerie voices echoing through the empty halls. One of the most profound incidents reported is the sighting of a young girl, believed to be Sally herself. She's often seen wearing an early 20th century dress. Her presence is benign, almost playful. Yet other encounters paint a darker picture. There have been accounts of a middle-aged woman, her demeanor far less friendly, causing unease and fear among those who've crossed her path. Paranormal investigators have ventured into the Sally House, attempting to unravel its mysteries. Some believe the house is a nexus for spiritual activity due to its history, while others suggest that the spirits themselves may be drawn to the energy of the living. But the truth? It remains elusive. Skeptics argue that these hauntings are nothing more than figments of overactive imaginations, fueled by the house's eerie reputation. Yet, those who have experienced the uncanny occurrences at the Sally House would beg to differ. In the end, the Sally House remains an enigma a chilling reminder of the world beyond our understanding.